What's interesting here is the crown on the wall. But as I was looking at it, I saw also that the shadows, the shadows from the crown, from the, the branches on the tree in back of me, are extending down here. So I took a photograph with that, and then I looked up above, and I see also that there's some wisps of trees. So it's sort of as if the shadow of the branches is a there's a relationship between that and these trees up above. Across the way we have Nachman, Nana Nachman artwork, which I'm not so enthused about. I've seen it before. I'll take some pictures of it quickly, but not a lot. It's actually it's nice because the, the yellow bananas do match the yellow paint they used for that. So that that's interesting. So let me go over there and take some shots. This area is now getting much closer to where I'm supposed to be, near Smolensky, and I saw here some really good lettering. It's always nice to see a different type of graffiti. And across the way is a picture that I had absolutely seen online. And I had to make sure before I come down here to Beersheba that there's what to photograph. It's nice, so it's like, uh, it's a doorway as if someone's coming into, uh, coming out or coming in or whatever. It's a doorway, painted doorway. Well, okay, so I was sort of stuck here. I'm on Smolensky and I wasn't finding what I needed. And in the bakery, they didn't know anything. But a guy here, um, a waiter or a server or a worker at the cafe, who doesn't know anything more here, did direct me to a place where there's a train track with a whole wall full of graffiti. It's not walkable from here, unfortunately. It's cabable or route aidable. So we're going to try Route Eatable. And, but before, I haven't given up yet. I'm going to first try to see on here on the street Smolensky where I'm walking, if there's anything at all. Machon Hanegev. Certainly it's a, uh, we'll call a, oh, here's something, I think. Posters. Hmm. I guess it's an area that's, um, I know it's called gentrified. I, I can't tell you who lives here. I gotta say it's probably popular at times. And right now, it's not one of those times. There are people sitting in the cafe, but we really don't have a lot of traffic here. I can't tell you what happens when a lot of people come here, if there really is a lot of traffic. It could just be a quiet type of place, even in the... Slicha! Yes, graffiti? Omanut ala kia? Raito ota lo mea zoa? Ta oved kan ayom? Ta oved bavet kneset? Mesader mashu? Shana tova lecha? Okay, so uh, he works here, he doesn't know. Anyway, it doesn't hurt to walk up and down the street. There is a street actually in the other direction, which is called Analevich, named after Mordechai Analevich. And he, uh, that street is something where one person felt, maybe a cab driver who, he felt maybe I could find something. But I'm walking Smolensky for what it's worth, and uh, there's posters across the way. Not really what we're looking for at all. Not at all what we're looking for. So I'm going to shut the camera, and if I have some luck, we'll hear about it in the next episode. Some good news. I guess the the episodes are better if there's good news, right? If it works out in the end. So what worked out basically is uh, about a block after I recorded the last episode, I found this. And this is on the wall here. It says, Nifkashim b'mikre u'matchilim shalom. We meet by chance and peace starts. It's got a little bit of a, uh, we'll call it an olive branch. It's it's uh, green and red, I guess they're red olives. You see them sometimes. So what I liked about it, of course, is that I found something which is always redeeming. <laughs> but more than that, is I also found over here a 
can show it. I found here two hands on a, on a door, and um, it's not just the two hands, really. It's also we have, if you can see in the video, we got this nice cacti against a wall. And the wall, of course, is chipped, which we can call a distressed look. Peeled, chipped, distressed, which is nice. So I took some pictures of this, and I also photographed the entire expanse, where you see the, I think we see the hands, we see also the Nifkashim Bimikred lettering there. So this was, this was worth walking down the block for. Was it worth coming to Beersheba just to photograph this? Um, I don't know. But it was nice, and I'm going to do it again actually from a little bit further back. I can actually stand on the street here with care because there isn't a lot of traffic. I watch my back all the time. I have to. And I don't recommend, don't recommend photographers take chances, and I do recommend that if a photographer is ever photographing in a precarious place, to have someone who is watching them. So I'm going to take another photograph a little bit uh, from a distance. I'm including, as one might guess, I'm including not just the subject of interest, but I'm making it more interesting based on wherever I can stand by including some of the utility poles and some of the, uh, the ex extent of the uh, electrical wires up there. We'll be back. First, I'll talk about the weather. It's warm here. I'm in the sun. I can't... Uh, I don't know the weather right now, whether it's 90 degrees or 89 degrees or 94 degrees. I don't think it's too humid. I'm sweating, of course. So what I did is I came across the street just to get a, a wider perspective. And one quick comment about photography, we always try to obviously compose a picture, but the lettering across the way and the... I was trying to put the utility pole between the lettering and the olive branch. I didn't want it cutting off lettering and I didn't want it cutting off olive branch, but I care more for the lettering, so that's something I did. So now that I found this, I am basically, I got a little more motivation to walk further along the street. The street again is called Smolensky, and it's in the old, old city area of Beersheva. It looks old. I think in general things are quiet here. Here, we're going to ask this woman here, we're going to ask her a question. Okay, so not everybody here is a graffiti expert, but we knew that. I'm not a graffiti expert either. I'm basically in a industrial area now. I'm still in the old city. I'm almost at the edge of it. Probably is the edge of it. And there's some workshops over here doing work and obviously, right? And there's some tractors coming along and a lot of dust. So I sort of wondered, I'm walking along here. Is there, is there anything, anything here or is anything going to be, uh, anything going to be materializing? Am I using my time well? This is the question. So, I did find something across the street, which is why I turned on the camera to report it. It's a lettering on the side of a wall. I have no idea, since I'm not an expert on this, not an expert on this, got no idea what it means. If it's, uh, it's just letters, and if it's even worth it, but I'm taking a, a walk over here, we're going to take a look at it. There's certainly other things to photograph. A lot of, uh, oh, whatever you find. Oh, there's some, uh, wow. Oh, there's some graffiti down there. It's called Rova Omanim. Okay, no one tells me about this. They, they did, the people I guess I asked don't know about it. So first we're going to go ahead and try to do the lettering. Try, right? After which I'm going to make it over to the murals that I see. I'm really glad I walked down here. I was ready to take the bus and go to another area that I was directed to. Okay, so this is what we're going to work on. And then we're going to go head down in that direction and find some more art. Looks like there's a lot of it there. I haven't photographed this yet. First we're going to look at it. Then I'll photograph it. It's actually quite nice. Some good art.
so we're gonna try this now. We can quickly talk quickly talk about what we've done here. We as I, because um, I'm leaving. I'm, I think I'm finished. So basically, this is an area with a lot of art on the walls, the outside walls, and it was explained to me that by one fellow here who was a carpenter who works in wood, does mostly tables. It was explained to me that this is sort of a we work for workers, for uh, I guess art artists or uh, people that are working with carpentry. I'm not sure what else, but anything. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I saw a couple cats, but I also saw art, and I've done some things here. I feel absolutely zero obligation to photograph all the art here. Uh, it's not my intent. Don't have the stamina or the interest for that. But it was nice to see it, and I did go ahead and photograph some of the wider perspectives and also some of the closer up, some detail shots, just for the sake of it. So I'm I'm really ready to leave, and. I'm sure there's some significance to this art in terms of meaning. By the way, some people live here, it seems. There's a lot of workshops. I digress. So I'm leaving the space, and it was fun. And I do want to get to... Oh, that's it. You know, see, I, I get caught. Look at that. It's sort of, I, I can't, can't leave that one alone. After this, I want to try to see if I have time to get to the this train train area. I, I have the instructions, and I'll see what I can do there. Four o'clock in the afternoon, four oh seven to be precise. Good to be precise. And I actually um, I'm in Shkunadalad. I rode the bus for about seven eight stops more than I needed, and uh, I came back. wasn't sure which which Ringelbaum stop to get off at. Anyway, what I want to say now is that I'm here on a street headed towards a, uh, the train track. Mm. And on the way I found this. I think it was quite interesting. I also saw a dog walking around on its own. It came around before again. But let's stay on topic. Okay, great. So this is Shkunadal. It looks interesting. It looks like a combination of apartments and maybe some private homes behind these walls. Not some. Yes, they are there. We're going to go now to walk uh, near the bridge, see what there is. There are so many flies in Beersheba. I don't know. There's that dog. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many flies here, and uh, I just don't know why. I guess uh, the heat or something like that. There was an interesting uh, Indian restaurant. I'll go back and check it out on the way upon return, and I'm seeing on the wall here, this is the wall that they spoke about, the wall of the train, I'm seeing some graffiti. So I'm going to go over and explore that. I'll just turn around so we can see the bridge. There's a bridge there. And if I'm daring, I'll walk above the bridge. But I definitely want to go take a look at the graffiti on the wall here. So I'm going to shut off and get closer. We're going to make this short. We're going to run through what we have here. We're going to make it short because of the hour and because I don't want it to be too long. So we have an uh, entire wall on the side of where the train runs. And I've just been photographing for about 15, let's say 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so here we have a poem, something about, uh, it just relates to food, about uh, grandfather and food, evening time. And it's, it's a narrative story there. I read it quickly. I didn't digest the whole thing. We definitely have stencils here. Hope this can be seen. We're in a neighborhood. I hope people enjoy living here. Shkuna Dalet. I have no idea what that means in terms of just socioeconomically. All right. Uh, yeah, I hope this can be seen here. I am in the Beersheba bus station. It's a nice bus station. I was here about about a year and a half ago. A lot of people, and there's food items, and this, of course, is my dinner, my salad. 
healthy salad and it comes with a roll, 35 shekel. No sugar pastries because I had a whole sugar drink before. But basically I'm tired and I'm ready to go home. I'm going to catch a bus to Jerusalem in another moment. And then I'll go home and get to shower. I got good pictures today and I'm really happy. I just want to show my salad once more. People do this all the time on social media. So uh, I can do it at least once, once every number of months.